Hi guys, it's Lara. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this cold shoulder dress with this interesting chain detail on the sleeves. I have to admit that was not planned as it is now. I had a little issue with the sleeves because I made the pattern myself, but more about that during the video. Also, I wanted to let you know that I just got my braces yesterday, so I might be talking funny, just ignore that. So if you want to know how I created the pattern for this dress and how I made it, then please keep watching. As usual, I have here a sketch of the design for my dress and of how I created the pattern. So this was my idea. I wanted to make a cold shoulder dress of two fabrics. I wanted the dress to be green on the back and I wanted to have a, a fabric with a print in the front. I wanted to have a belly pocket and short sleeves and a green edging around the neckline. This was the original pattern. I used a simple pattern for a tight shirt with short sleeves, which I adjusted. So I copied the front and the back part that would be here. And I added nine inches on the bottom on each part, which is including the seam allowance for the bottom edge. The next adjustment I had to make was to open the armholes a little bit. So the pink here represents how much I cut away. So I made a line a few inches from the end of the armholes and then I went slowly a little bit inwards. Now I wanted this pattern to be more versatile so I kept the original shape and I marked the line where I started opening the armholes a little bit more which I can always fold downwards now because now I know where to fold it. And then I made an extra pattern for this top parts that were more open. And anytime I would want to make a cold shoulder variation, I can fold this inwards and align this one here with the pattern. And same goes for the bottom. If I want to make a shirt, I simply fold this inwards. And if I want to make a dress, I leave it open. And that way I can do way more with one pattern. Now that should be clear. Here we have a pattern for the sleeves. That was the original pattern. Again, I cut away the top. And also during the process, I learned that this was also a little bit too wide. So I had to make a line in the middle and cut away about an inch on each side. So two inches in total, because I wanted to keep this shape as it was, because that's what's going to fit into the armholes here. And when I cut this away, I put a tape on the pattern and then I had a new uh, pattern for the sleeves. But you will see more about that in the video. I will explain it again a little bit more detailed. So that's how I created the pattern for the dress. And now let's have a look at how I made it. First, I folded the dress pattern on the top and I aligned the cold shoulder pieces for each part with the dress pattern. And I made the pattern for my belly pocket. The bottom was 11.75 inches wide, the top 7 inches and the pocket was 7.2 inches high in the middle. I will also write the measurements in the description box. Here we have the sleeves and the pocket and also two strips of fabric for the edging. I made the strips 1.25 inches wide and I basically eyeballed the length and kind of hoped for the best. And this is what the front part looked like and the pocket pattern. By the way, I added seam allowance everywhere. Here we have the back part for my dress. I started with the belly pocket. So first I ironed on an iron on interfacing on the sides of the pocket. And then I folded these sides inwards and I pinned them in place.
I made sure that the pocket was symmetrical so I had to cut back some excess fabric. I have sewn through the sides with a regular straight stitch. Here is what it looked like. And I also folded the remaining edges inwards and I pinned them all in place. Again, I folded the pocket a couple of times in the middle just to be sure that it was symmetrical. Next, I pinned the belly pocket to the front part of the dress. I placed the top of the pocket about an inch below where my belly button was. And of course, I made sure that the pocket was aligned straight. This is what it looked like when the pocket was pinned in place. I have sewn the pocket on in always two rows of a stretchy straight stitch. As a next step, I pinned the dress together on one shoulder. I have sewn it together with a stretchy overlock stitch. I cut back any excess fabric and here is what it looked like. And then I took one of the two strips of the green fabric, I folded it in the middle and pinned it in place. And I started pinning it around the neckline to the right side. And then the neckline looked like this. I have sewn the strip of fabric on with a stretchy overlock stitch. And then it looked like this. I folded the seam inwards and I pinned it in place. Once that was done, I have sewn through with a regular straight stitch and here is what it looked like. As a next step, I pinned the sides of the dress together and I have sewn them together with stretchy overlock stitch and as usual I cut back any excess fabric. And this is what the dress looked like so far. And then I pinned the folded strip of fabric to the tops and to the bottoms of both sleeves. Here is what it looked like when the strips of fabric were pinned in place on the sleeves. I have sewn them on with stretchy overlock stitch. And once that was done, I folded the seam inwards and I have sewn through with a stretchy straight stitch. You could also use a stretchy zigzag. I have sewn the sides of the sleeves together with a stretchy overlock stitch and then I have sewn through the edge with a regular straight stitch. Next I pinned the sleeves into the armholes. Here is what it looked like when the sleeves were pinned in. I have sewn the sleeves on with stretchy overlock stitch. I folded the remaining armhole edge inwards and then I have sewn through with a stretchy zigzag around the entire armhole. When I tried the dress on I found out that the sleeves were too wide. So instead of opening the stitches, I made a fold in the middle of each sleeve. I have sewn it through with stretchy overlock stitch, then I folded the seam to one side and I have sewn through the edges with a straight stitch. In order to make it look like it was actually meant to be, I have decided to add a little extra chains and buttons. I have sewn the chain on the sides and on the middle of the upper edge. I added a button in the middle of the upper edge. And then I have also sewn on a button on the bottom middle.
I have also sewn on two buttons on the top of the belly pocket. And as a last step, I folded the bottom edge of the dress inwards. I made sure that I folded everywhere the same amount of fabric and I have sewn through with a stretchy zigzag. And then my dress was finished. Let's, as usual, have a look at a few details. So this is how I made the dress. Now the solution to the issue with the pattern. Now this is too wide. So you have to fold the pattern like that so that the sides will be aligned. Now you have here the middle and then you make an additional fold here. So I folded it in about an inch. And when I open the pattern now with the fold, then it's more narrow. And this is exactly what I need. So it's always important to keep the sides the same because they have a special shape for the armholes, but this is where you make the sleeves more narrow. So yeah, that's hopefully helpful. And at the end, I'm actually happy with the result because now it's even more interesting than it was planned to be because it was planned to have just plain sleeves. So why not, you know? I feel like it's not important to do everything the perfect way. It's always the best to learn and to make the best of any situation. And sometimes when things go wrong, you end up with something special like here, because I actually like it even more than the original plan. And hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. So that's it for today. If you ended up liking today's video, don't forget to give the video a thumb up and you can also subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. As always, I will link down below a few videos and playlists that I think might be interesting for you. And there's also all of my Instagram accounts down below, a few discount codes and affiliate links. And I always list the music down below as well. And if I think of something, I'm just gonna write it down below into the description box. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video and with my next project. Bye.